Hi, my name is Thomas Foster and this is another episode of a multi-part tutorial about the Nexus 3 from ReFX. In this tutorial we'll take a closer look to the Apeciator. So have fun! First we go to Plugged and we load a preset called Bright Plug. Let's listen to this. All right. Let's click on Arpeggiator, that's the second page here on the top. And this preset has four layers, means four different sounds and they are mixed together to create one sound. You can make an Arpeggiator for every layer. So another Arpeggiator for the first layer, then for the second layer and so on. Uh, in this case, we want to make one Arpeggiator for all four sounds, so we go to Main. You start the Arpeggiator with this button here, so you turn it on, right? And now let's see what is the Arpeggiator doing. If I turn it off and I play a chord, you can see here on the bottom what I'm playing. Yeah, I play a chord one time or a note one time and you hear it one time, like it's normally. If you turn on the Arpeggiator, I just play one note, but you hear it with the rhythmic you see here in this edit window. If I play three notes, you hear what in fact the Arpeggiator is, the Arpeggio. You hear separated all three notes. And you first hear the lower note, then the middle note, then the upper note. That's because we are in the up mode. If you go to the down mode, it's the opposite. It's played starting with the highest note. Uh, there is the mode Alter. So here you hear it up and down. In order, you hear it in the order that you played it. So if I first play the middle note, then the upper and then the lower, that's how I hear it. If I first play the lower one, then the upper and then, then the middle, then I hear it. So I always hear it in the order I played it. There is random, sounds like this. So it's also playing sometimes some notes double or more often. And there is poly, I like poly very much. Here if you play a chord, you hear all notes at the same time. And then you have something totally new that is really cool the sick mode com coming from sequencer here you can put in some notes maybe like this and whatever note I play I hear my sequence starting at this note let's go back to up and let's take a closer look to the next feature called octaves so in the moment I'm playing two notes and that's what we hear. If I go to two octaves, I hear the same two notes one octave higher. Or in three octaves or four octaves. Very important the speed. In the moment we just hear eighth notes, but we can also go to sixteenths. Or 32s, 64s, <laughs> and you have triples. Yeah, we, we would need a beat to better understand this. And dots. So I like, for example, very much the eight dots. This is like three sixteenths, right? Uh, let's hear a beat. Very nice. Let's go back to 16th and take a look to the gate. Um, there is uh, maybe too much um, release on this sound, so it's not so easy to hear the gate. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we go down with the release. Maybe we also mute for a moment the reverb and the delay. Now we hear exactly what is happening. So if I'm going down with the gate, the notes are getting shorter. So 
all the notes, doesn't matter how long they are, they are getting shorter. Let's bring back the reverb and the delay. All right. So the length is the length of this pattern. So at the moment we have 16 sixteenths. So this is exactly one bar. One, two, three, four. And here's the next bar. All right. So we can make it shorter. Let's go to eight. This would be a half bar. But you also can make it longer. In fact, you can make it up to 265 sixteenth. This would be exactly 16 bars. If you go down to something slower, um, you can make 32 bars. But this is pretty cool because sometimes it's really cool if you have a variation at the end. So, but if you have so many bars, um, sometimes it's useful to zoom in. How do you zoom in? You hold down the command key on your Mac or the uh, string key, the control key, sorry. It's a uh, string keys in German. <laughs> the uh, control key on your keyboard and with the wheel of your mouse, you can zoom in. I can't do this because with my mouse it's not working. Uh, maybe it would be cool if they also would have another feature for zooming in because sometimes the mouse is not doing this like they planned it. So this would be a nice update for me to have another possibilities. Maybe some short keys with uh, Command Plus or something. To zoom out again, you use the uh, zoom button here. Then you see everything again. The next feature is the filter. Uh, with a filter, you can say, please play just the first note that I played. So I play three notes but we just hear the first note. And if I play first the highest note, it's the highest we play. But I also can say, please play the last note or the lowest note. So now I make a lower note in additional, and we just hear the new note because it's the lowest, the highest note. And you can fix it, to example, to C2. Doesn't matter which note I play, it's always a C2 that we hear. That's the filter. I like very much the strum effect. With the strum effect you can, like on a guitar, not play all notes at the same time. You play it one after the other. Like a guitarist play player is playing the notes one after the other. This feature is only working in poly mode because only in poly notes you play more notes at the same time. So let's listen to this. Very nice. The shuffle mode. There are normally two shuffle modes, the 8th shuffle and the 16th shuffle. In this version, there's just a 16th shuffle that is, I think, more important. But also in an update, it would be nice to have a 8th shuffle. What means shuffle? Shuffle means that every second note, so the every second 16 to be uh, exactly, the 2nd, the 4th, the 6th, the 8th and so on, is delayed. So to hear this, maybe we make the gate a little shorter. And now we turn on the shuffle. So every second uh, 16 is playing a little later, depending on how much you turn on the shuffle. Maybe it's easier to understand if we hear it in additional with an additional beat. That's the shuffle. At the moment we are just playing all with with the same timing, but you can change the timing and you can change the notes. How do you do this? You use the right mouse to delete notes. So I, if I click with the right mouse on these notes, they are deleted. And you can insert notes also with the right mouse. 
Um, you also can transpose them. If a node is selected, you can use the arrow up and down key to transpose your buttons. And you can change the length of a node. To do this, let's make uh, the gate a little longer. And now I can say, I want to make this node longer. And maybe we make the same here. I delete all nodes. I right click one of them to delete all the nodes. I make one node here, bring it down with the arrow down key. I make one node here. It's also too high. And one node here. But this node I make longer if I place the mouse on the right side and move it to the right. Let's listen. I also can change the velocity in the bottom here. So let's go down with this note and also these here. You can transpose them. So maybe we give this one octave up. <laughs> and one octave down. So you also can make um, notes between, like we go down for two half notes, also one note down. So a lot of possibilities you can do here in this window. Um, if you found your dream preset, you maybe want to save it because you also want to use it in another song. Uh, so what you do is you first give it a name. Let's say Thomas Foster uh, Arp. And now we click on these three dots here and say save preset. And now immediately you find it here on the bottom, your preset. So I can load now another preset by double clicking it or I can load the preset I was saving. Very nice. To delete your preset, you right click it and you can rename it now. So I can say, ah, it's, I made a mistake, it's Thomas Foster's app for sure. Or you can say delete and here click delete. So in the beginning I told you, you also can make arpeggiators for your different layers. So that's what we do now. We mute the main arpeggiator. We go to this one and play just the first and the second note. We go to the second layer and delete the first, the third and the fifth. My name is Thomas Foster. Please write in the comments how you like the new Nexus 3 Arpeggiator or if you have any questions. If you like to produce hip-hop music, I have something special for you. Check this out. What's good? This is a brief overview of the Mugent Hip Hop Pack, which contains everything you need to produce excellent hip-hop sounds. From the perfect drum samples to awesome beats and bass, great chord instruments, helpful MIDI files, and construction kits. Let's start with the construction kits. They sound amazing. Listen to this one called Ghost. Fast money, we gotta keep the pace now. I see them watching, I bet they know my face now. No silver spoon, had to get it out the mud. It cost me a lot of tears, sweat and even some blood. The next one is called Dragon. I'm from the city where we crawl on the Medi foes. Sitting sideways, make the slab strike a pose. Behind tent, never slam my suicide doors. Where the boppers judge you by the way you wear your clothes. With the construction kits, you have everything you need to make your own awesome track. These include drums, bass, chord instruments, lead instruments, the individual samples and the MIDI files. 
This means you can access, modify, and exchange all sounds or notes for every track. On one track, I even recorded a rap vocal track for you. But let's take a closer look. The Musion Hip Hop Packs feature the best drum samples. All samples are based on the classic 808 sound, but are rather to be understood as a modern version of it. Kicks, snares, claps, hi-hats, and tons of percussion. You will find an incredibly fat 808 bass in different variations, and the typical chord sounds you need for hip-hop. The vinyl piano, the vintage roads, and various synth sounds. All these sounds are available for Contact, Ableton, which also means for Push, and The Machine. Check out the other tutorials to see how easy it is and how much fun it is to work with Musion Hip Hop Pack. If you want to produce contemporary hip hop music, the Musion Hip Hop Pack is what you need. So come check it out. Money piling up is busting out the safe now. I got the lawyer fees, I can beat the case now. Never snitching middle finger to the judge Rolling through my hood, everybody showing love, yeah